For Wales Madden Jr., it's been a life well lived. His family, church, and community have always been his priority. His lifelong passion for the outdoors has taken him from the trails of Palo Duro Canyon to the summits of 50 Rocky Mountain peaks. Along the way, he has been involved in countless projects to improve the world around him. And by the way, we refer to uh, whales in the Panhandle as big whales, big whales. Whatever the issue or the project of the day, big whales was front and center. And he's really inspired several generations of Amarillo business people. All the big things that Big Wales has accomplished, his heart is in the, in the Powder Canyon. Wales Madden personifies Powder Canyon to me. In 1960, he was tapped to lead a fundraising effort for a new amphitheater in the canyon. For Wales, it was all about attracting more visitors to the park. I just knew people would enjoy it once they saw it. But how do you get them to come down and see it? The Pioneer Amphitheater is home to the now legendary musical Texas. And after more than 50 years, it remains the best attended outdoor history drama in the nation. Texas, <laughs> Nothing brilliant at all, just humbly trying to get folks aware of that big pit out there. He's been involved in just about every important effort to expand the park, to improve the park, add new facilities. Wales's work on behalf of Palo Duro made headlines throughout his life. His friendship with Canyon Cedar Ranch owner Pete and Wanda Gilvin resulted in its donation to the Amarillo Area Foundation and its subsequent transfer to the state. It has now become part of the state park and it was through Wales' handiwork that that transaction was able to take place. In 2008, 3,000 acres of the canyon's viewshed was protected from development forever. Hi, Mac. Wales Madden and Mac Dick have been friends for decades. They've hiked countless times together in Palo Duro. Yeah, we're about ready to take that walk, Audrey. It was Wales who encouraged Mac to think about leaving a legacy in the park. Yeah, I, I helped. It was through the generosity of Mac Dick that we were able to complete the, the Mac Dick Pavilion, and it is just a, it's a show place. There are hiking trails nearby, but the days of maneuvering a rugged path are behind them. This is where they get their exercise now. We walk around the parking lot, and that's pretty good. Considering the fact that I'll tell you I'm 89. Now you can talk about your age if you want to. I um, subtract four from 100. <laughs> subtract four from 100, he's 96. Now that's remarkable. Spending time at Palo Duro Canyon has been a constant joy in Wales's life. And thanks to his good works, the park is a better place for future generations. Every day with Wales is a better day because you're with him. He is a wonderful man, and he truly believes that Paladuri Canyon is the finest place on earth.